We're back from We Code It, and look what else showed up. The cylinder, freshly bored out, honed out, looking all good in there, look at that. Guy did a great job on it. Actually set the hone in a machine to set it all proper. Even re-tapered the tip, was gone after the boring. Even ran one of those fancy finishing hones through it, you know, so it's all, you know, what, you know, you know those finishing ones, you know, if you know, you know. Um, but in this video, we're gonna do a little bit of Jake code it. You know, we're just a week code it. We're gonna do some Jake code it. Our ported head with cams, it's all good and set up, and it's going to mate to this. But you notice they're different colors. First, I wasn't gonna let that bother me. I thought it'd be just fun. We'll just have a, a black head on here. But if we look closely, you see this head. It's kind of scratched up a little bit. You know, I think uh, probably just going in and out of the frame. Bearings are covering it. Uh, but on this bike, it's gonna be pretty prominent and shown. I'm just gonna keep pulling these parts here. Basically, what I'm thinking here is I was gonna, I wanted to repaint this. But then, you know, more and more as I was looking at the different colors we're going with, I started thinking maybe we'll go the other way. Maybe we'll make the engine more black. Now, I don't wanna paint the whole engine. Here, here, here's the thing, right? The skid plate covers up a lot of the engine. I'm gonna put these case covers over it that also cover up a lot of it with a darker color. I actually think it might be cool to go the other way and repaint this kind of the color it is, a similar color, and to paint the cylinder to match. So I've got some paint and some uh, masking tape, but all that doesn't show up till tomorrow. That's all right, tonight I still have a few other things I can work on. Speaking of Jake Coda, let me show you this. Is my linkage, just part of it. As you see here, I have painted it myself. I probably should have just taken this to wee coat it and let them coat it with the swing arm, blast it down with some of this Rust-Oleum professional enamel. This stuff is so crazy. If you are gonna paint something yourself and not get it done the right way that we coat it, do, you know, clean it up, mask it up, and use some of that paint, because man, that stuff's just got such a great finish. It's so slick. So I have a one or two other small parts I need to do. These are some side engine mounts. They're just like unpainted, I, and they are steel. I'm guessing, you know, you think, oh, they must just be stainless, but they're definitely not a high grade stainless. There is little junk on this already, and that's not just dirt, that is a little bit of rust on there. So I'm guessing these are just low grade stainless. First thing we need is we need to clean this up real good. The wire wheel, I feel like, is also pretty good, because it, you know, gives it a little bit of a texture, it's not much, but you know, it's better than just being completely smooth steel and I think the paint's kind of adhered to that a little better. A lot of people will say you do a first coat real heavy and then like lighter coats. I just do all light coats. That way I avoid runs. And I found this works pretty good over here. This shit can't hold on. Do them with real light coats. Just do a bunch of them. Is that the right way to do it? Probably not. It's how I do it. In 24 hours, or actually a little more than that later, they're now black. Kind of a, got a little sheen to them there a little bit, you know? Is that what you say, that word? Spraying a little odd there at the end. I think the can was kind of on its last leg, so it's not like 100% consistent, but it's, it's mostly pretty good. It feels good, it doesn't feel like spray paint. It feels, you know, very slick to touch. I did just to think about it. <laughs> This one is gonna be fairly close to an exhaust pipe and uh, this might start to deteriorate. If they do deteriorate, it's fine because I have these. Engine <laughs> paint, uh, this is the Rust-Oleum brand, uh, engine enamel, uh, primer and paint. So this is what I'm, I'm gonna paint the engine with and if those pieces start to fade or act funny, I can pop them off pretty easily. You don't have to like pull the engine out to get those mounts out. Also got some of this 3M masking tape. It's uh, supposed to be like real sticky and flexible and. Uh, not care about sticking like, you know, you try to take normal masking, stick it on some metal like that, especially when it's, you know, had oil residue and stuff on at times, it's not going to stick very well. This is supposed to stick really well. When it comes to masking this up, I have a very interesting set of options here. I have a whole second head over here, and uh, there's a good chance I'm actually going to pull a bunch of the sensors off of this head and put them on this head, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
So I, I literally could just be like lazy and like just paint over the old, you know, temperature sensor, for instance. Also like the valve cover on this one's a little beat up looking and I think I'm literally just gonna switch it to the other valve cover. So like I literally could just rail can directly over this and not lose any sleep and I, it's probably what I'm gonna do. Some would say completely to try to remove this old paint, but this paint is on there pretty good. Basically from everything I've seen online and even to some of Rust-Oleum's own directions, you can't just get this a good scuff up on here get it uh, roughed up. So for that, I think a lot of it, I'm gonna use that Dremel, little kind of Scott Bright looking bits on there, you know, uh, the little fiber, fiber looking wheels. And we'll kind of kick this all up all over and get it in good shape. So first things first, let's pare this down a little more and mask it up. No thermostat. <laughs> Alright, race bike status. The grayish silver parts seem to clean up a lot easier than the head here. The black on this is just a little bit better, but it's fine. We still got it rather roughed up. Oh, uh, well, I will say the, the water pump covered just completely. That came completely clean. But I've got everything basically prepped up as much as I think I can. I've got things masked off, and I don't think I'll paint too many things I don't intend to paint here. I'm sure I haven't done this perfect. You know, I'm not like a, a painter. I'm just a me. So uh, um, I've probably done something wrong. Sorry about that if I have and you're screaming at me on the camera. No doubt, you're supposed to do this with like a ventilator on and be in a ventilated place. Um, I'm not, but I can hold my breath, I'm fine. Uh, really, I'm gonna do like really short runs of these just like with the other one. These are gonna be like quick light coats. This is the primer and um, I was reading the, the instructions there. That's literally what it says to do. Just, you know, get everything clean, prepped it, and then like, you know, it's time to do a handful of, you know, light coats. In fact, I think it just said to do like maybe two or so. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. No turning back now. What, what am I doing? Just kind of get yourself big sweeping motions. You ever want to start on something and let go? It's always the sweep. And you know, you bang and go and blah, 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 and life is good. Wish me luck. I've been doing these coats, what, about 25 minutes or so apart. 
That way they have a chance of kind of drying up enough that they're not runny anymore, but still like enough that the next coat will kind of stick to it. It's supposed to be a low gloss black. I think because of the enamel, they'll never be a complete like, you know, just straight satin black. Come on, let's see, I get the ball loose. All right, a bunch of shaking, same thing as we've done before. Light, light coats. If this applies the same as the primer has, we're gonna be in good shape because this really has done a great job of just smoothing out, covering everything smoothly and evenly. It looks great. It's been almost a day since we painted all the parts. Just gave them a good chance to really sort of cure up and dry. And man, I gotta tell you, the finish on here looks amazing. It has a very factory finish look to it. It feels like it, looks like it. Uh, definitely gives the impression this will hold up for a very long time. And man, this product really does lay out like really well, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it doesn't glob up or get run. I have zero runs on anything. If you wanted to match the factory kind of gray it was, I think you could just do the primer, a couple of coats of that, and then just throw maybe a couple of coats of that clear over top of it, and you would get a little bit of glossiness. Because man, when the primer was wet, it looked just like the factory coating. So that's that's if you're if you're painting an engine, you want that CRF uh, factory kind of Honda gray color they use, grayish silver. I think that would be it. Uh, we didn't put any clear over this because. Uh, the clear, from what I could see looking into this, isn't anything more robust than the normal paint. It's just a clear version. It's just as well add extra layers of the main paint versus that clear, and you kind of get the same effect of having a bit of protection in there. Plus, the clear would add a bit of gloss to this. I didn't really want gloss. I wanted that sort of satin kind of look here. Again, I just came out here, did a bunch of real light coats. Literally, I like, just held my breath and would hold my breath for about a minute and just quickly bunch of coats. You know, you really should wear like a respirator. You shouldn't hold your breath. This stuff is not, you know, it's not, it's a little nasty. And that's the thing, like most of these coats, the first few, you could see a lot of parts I didn't hit. I didn't worry about it. I just was like, it's cool. Come back a few minutes later, do it again, do it again, do it again. And everything is incredibly uniform now. The only main thing left to do now is I need to pull off all of this tape. You're supposed to do this like when the paint's still kind of tacky so that you get like these perfectly peeled lines. And if you do it with it dry, there's a chance that it, you know, it takes some of the material with it. It can cause some problems, but it's just realistic. It's not practical to try to do that with a complex part like that. We'll see if that was a mistake or not now. That tape definitely worked well. Those lines peeled off really good. Most of these coats were about, I think, 25 minutes apart. I mean, it just looks really good. I do need to transfer some stuff from this one to this one, though. I'm gonna switch to something more abrasive. It's barely coming off.
the amount of work it took to get the paint off of that one bolt uh, it's pretty inspiring. I'm pretty sure we'll be good to power wash this thing down. Obviously, we'll have to pull the valve cover off when we install it, but you know, go ahead and get it set up, get ready to go. And uh, yeah, definitely put a link in the old description to those paints. You know, good old affiliate link. Otherwise, we're a little stalled on the build right now. I'm just waiting on parts for both chassis and for the engine. I don't know what will be next. <laughs> Regardless, that, that video will already be up on Patreon, so go check that out if you're not already on there. And if you are on there, be sure to join the Discord so you can talk to some fun people in there. Yeah, join. You get to you get to talk with Roy. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta talk to Roy. <laughs> that's the whole. That's the whole benefit. You gotta talk to Roy. Thanks, guys. Solid, solid group right there. For real, don't you guys think though? Look at this. If this has, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna put you on camera real quick. I'm gonna do both at the same time. Discord and you guys. All right. Do you not think that this has like a factory look to it? Right? Does that not look it, good? It looks, it looks like it came that way. It it does look like it came that way. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Like.